In the Research Master of Behavioral Science, we train our students to become excellent researchers in behavioral science. We train them in methods and statistics, but also we provide them in that knowledge about human behavior. This makes them highly valuable for all kinds of positions, of course, including academia, but also outside university context, including commercial and non-profit organizations. I currently work at TNO, uh, I am an educational scientist there and I study uh, military personnel, especially their training and uh, education. What we hope to aim for is that we can train them in a flexible way so that they become adaptive when they are operating in uh, highly complex environments. I work as a researcher within the venture of Digital Cognitive Diagnostics in Philips. And what we do there is we develop a product that is a digital cognitive assessment tool to make the process of conducting neuropsychological assessments a lot easier and a lot more time and cost efficient, especially for neurologists. And what I do there specifically is I coordinate studies surrounding that product, both in the Netherlands and in the US. So within the Research Masters, we learn a lot of different things, obviously. We learn a lot of statistics and a lot of methods things, but also a lot of basic behavioral science and psychological concepts. I can use all of those very well in my current job, but I have to say that the independent research project that we're forced to basically conduct in the second year of the research masters is definitely the most useful um, because right now in my current job I have to do everything very autonomously by myself. I'm responsible for a lot of different things all by myself and I think without the research master that I wouldn't have been able to do that. <laughs> During the research master, I, uh, I learned a lot about data analysis and about how to design a study. Um, in my work at TNO, I use a lot of data analysis. I'm a project leader of a project called Learning Analytics, which, which works with big data. So especially this data uh, analysis comes uh, in very handy. Um, it is a very open environment that uh, helps you to, sh like, to sharpen your mind, to uh, find new questions, to awaken your curiosity. Um, and it is something that uh, is a lot of fun and it is something that gives you the courage and the knowledge that you can do more challenging things. What I like the best about the Research Master of Behavioral Science is definitely the diversity of all the people that are involved. And with diversity, I mean both academically, so they come from a lot of various backgrounds, such as psychology, educational sciences, pedagogics, um, but also obviously because it's an international master's program, I also really like the fact that it's culturally very diverse. So you'll not only learn a lot of things academically, but also about different cultures and different people's backgrounds. So I'm a PhD student here at uh, Radboud University and I investigate the impact of our work on our leisure time physical activity behavior. And I encounter on a day-to-day -day basis what I learned in the research master. So think for example of the statistical analyses, but also more practical skills such as setting up a good research project and planning it. And eventually of course more the general thinking about research and about being critical on your own ideas. And what I like so much about doing research is that you really dive into one topic. You really try to understand what is exactly going on there. And that's one last thing that you do in the Research Master. Picking your topic and diving all the way into it.